everybody, and welcome back to Kitra's Quarantine Kitchen. It's been a while. It has. I'm so sorry. I know that it's been a few months, but I felt inspired to create some Baby Yoda themed snacks because of the premiere of The Mandalorian Season 2. Which we saw the first episode. It's so good. Yes. So good. <laughs> so maybe you can make these treats for a future episode of The Mandalorian. Put on your Mandalorian helmets and come with us on this adventure. Oh, oh. Gotta take off the glasses. This is the way. The first ingredient that we're gonna need, as always, is this beautiful Kitra's Quarantine Kitchen apron that you know, if you want one of these, you could always go to our spread shirt and you could have my face on an apron. Yeah, along with a Dole Whip and a Ronto Wrap. I know, it's iconic. Here is everything that you're gonna need for the Baby Yoda deviled eggs. 10 hard boiled eggs, 1 4th cup of mayonnaise, 2 teaspoons of honey mustard, peppercorns for the eyes, two to three celery stalks, and green gel food coloring. You got all that right here. Yeah. I actually couldn't even find green gel food coloring. I found sparkly gel. You know, because Star Wars, get it? Oh, like the stars? Yeah. I mean, who knows how sparkly it'll actually be, but I was excited. You're gonna need some seasoning for these Baby Yoda deviled eggs. The recipe says that you could use pretty much anything that you want, but we're gonna keep it pretty simple, just using salt and pepper. You could use garlic salt. Paprika. You use paprika. You can use um, the basil. Sh the shrimp that uh, the child likes in the water that makes the blue spotchka. No? Okay. You could. Mind. You know, if we had that, unfortunately, I could not find that anywhere. So we're just going to use salt and pepper. <laughs> <laughs> the most important thing about this recipe are these hard-boiled eggs. Earlier today, I actually made these myself. I was very tempted to just buy a pack of pre-made eggs because you could totally do that if you want. But hard-boiled eggs is actually really simple. You just take the eggs, you put them into a big pot, you cover them with water, you let them boil, and once they're boiling, you turn off the heat, you put on the lid, and you let them sit there for 12 minutes. You take them out, you dump them into a bath of ice water until they're completely cooled down, and then you peel off the shells. And then you have these beautiful, beautiful hard-boiled eggs. I feel like the hardest part of hard-boiled eggs is getting the shell off, and I think I did like a pretty good job. Just don't look like too closely. Yeah. Hard, <laughs> I, I can even hard boil eggs. That's how easy can it you? is. Can you? Yes. Wow. Impressive. I can do that and I can also make spaghetti. Yeah. Good job, Peter. We should make Baby Yoda spaghetti <laughs> next time. Doesn't this just look like the child's pod? Imagine it. Like, I was like, this is genius. Whoever thought of this for the very first time is an absolute genius. We're gonna cut these eggs in half and dump out the yellow parts into the bowl. Oh yeah, slides right out. Boiled these, oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I was so proud. I was like, I boiled these perfectly. Well, it kind of slid, slid right out. You're gonna take some of the top pieces and cut them in half again, because this makes the back of his little pod. All right, we could go home now. <laughs> Mission accomplished. You guys, being an online chef is hard. <laughs> Pinch it out. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so excited. I think it's because I saw this recipe and I was like, I can do that. <laughs> it's easy yeah, enough. Yeah, the last time we did Kitra's Quarantine Kitchen, I think is when we made beignets. Was that the last one we did? I I think so. And if you haven't that, seen that, that came out amazing. Yeah, they turned out perfect and you should go watch it and then you'll know how to make beignets. No, they turned out really bad, and but it turned out to be really funny. So I highly recommend going to watch that video. <laughs> oh, why that's so satisfying to me. Yeah. 
my gosh, look at how many little, wow, we're gonna have so many little pods. I didn't realize how many this was gonna make. Can you get that slow-mo action shot? Nope. No? That's what the people want. gonna need one of these little half tops per each of the bottom half because what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make it look like a little crib oh my god it looks like it already <laughs> I hope everyone's as excited as I am you're super excited <laughs> I know <laughs> is that not perfect like it's even <laughs> long like I didn't notice until the season premiere last night that his crib is like really long. Yeah. So this looks identical to me. <laughs> We're gonna set these aside for now and make his green Baby Yoda body mixture. We're gonna add the mayo, the mustard, and the seasoning that you decided to put in. The way you can tell if mayo is good is if it farts when it's coming out of the container. So let's see if this farts. Oh no, man, I was really hoping it, <laughs> dang it, that was so anti. Okay, we'll just have to cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> but I think most people don't have mayo containers that come out like a squeeze yeah, like that. Yeah, I honestly don't know why we have one of these squeeze bottles. We This has been sitting in our fridge forever. But I mean, hey, it's a lot more convenient than like digging like a knife or a spoon in the jar. I always hated doing that. So that's probably why I bought this one. <laughs> Kind of jiggling. Ugh, I don't like mayo, but I mean, once it's mixed in with everything else, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Ew. Okay, get out. You might need a spoon. Yeah, you're right. I just said that I didn't like using a spoon to like get my mayo out, but I guess, you know what? <laughs> Ended up using a spoon anyway. Ugh. We just need two teaspoons of this honey mustard. I was actually surprised that it called for honey mustard because usually I feel like I just use the normal yellow. So these will be kind of fancy. Ooh, smells good. I love honey mustard. I know, that's why I knew you were gonna be excited because this has honey mustard in it. Does this fart? Nope. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Must mean it's good. Pixel, oh, did you hear that? It's farting. <laughs> just like you. Pixel. Did you fart? Pixel, did you fart? <laughs> she's not doing it, but usually when I ask her, she like runs away because she knows when she farts, she's like, I'm gonna hashtag drive by. Gone. Pixel. One more. thinking we should add some like fancy spice. Fancy spice like yeah. paprika? Yeah, paprika is really good with deviled eggs, but I'm afraid that'll turn them red. <laughs> Remember that meme? Is it no. still funny? What meme? The salt guy meme. You really not know what I'm doing? I'm not cool enough to understand memes. <laughs> I'll have to like put a clip of it or something. I'm yeah. sure you guys know, but so I, it's not I, funny? I, it's hilarious. a lot of pepper <laughs> <laughs> and then the recipe says that you could use either a hand mixer or you could just do it yourself we all know what happens when i try to use a blender or a, a kitchen aid mixer so you know what? i'm just gonna use a spoon <laughs> okay are kitchen aid mixers a scam i don't think so i think are they a scam i mean i, I assume like martha stewart uses it right martha stewart yeah you're right. Just seems like a scam to me. <laughs> no? Well, oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe you should get like a fork so you can like mash it. Yeah, this is like a tiny spoon too. It's not really. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna mash. Okay, really. good idea. Yeah, let's get a fork. It would be a lot easier with a mixer, but you know what? It's fine. Yeah, you like doing things the hard way. <laughs> right? It makes you a, a more cultured. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. 
I mean, I'm just, just trying to think, like, what would the Mandalorian do? He would for sure just use, like, a spork that he got in Galaxy's Edge instead of using a hand mixer, right? Oh my god, I should use the spork from Galaxy's Edge. I know. I'm a genius. This wasn't even planned, and you know what? We haven't even used it yet, so... Perfect occasion. It's half spoon, half fork. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself for thinking of this. Get out of here. Fork. <laughs> we got a spork. Oh, oh, this is making me sad though, because I miss Galaxy's Edge. Yeah. Oh my God, this is literally perfect. Because you could use one side to like mush it and the other side to squish it. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. You're just gonna wanna mix this until it gets as smooth as you want it to be. I'm gonna add six drops of this gel green food coloring, the sparkle gel, sorry. But for some reason, I don't think like three little drops is gonna be enough, but let's see. One. Like this doesn't really drop, it just kind of like comes out. Three, four, five, six. I have a feeling we're gonna need a lot more than that. It looks like ecto slime. It does, ew. Yeah, I don't think that's really gonna turn. Oh, yeah, that didn't do anything. <laughs> let's try that. I also have this like dye food coloring that's like a lot more pigmented. So I, that could always be a backup if this doesn't really work. Dun, 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 dun. It just looks like baby food or something. Ooh, there's some of the green. Dun, 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 dun. I feel like I should have used the hand mixer. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Gizmo's like, what is going on? You want some baby Yoda eggs, honey? Yeah, does that sound good for a little boy? Yeah, good boy. Should I put some of this dye in it is the question. Maybe a, like a couple drops? Okay, I'm just gonna put like one drop in, I'm scared. What if this ruins it? It could. Ooh, 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 that was a lot. That's a really dark black dot right there. Ba -ba -ba. Oh. You know what? I think it worked. It's looking good. You know what it looks like? Guacamole. Yeah. I was just thinking, I'm like, I should have just made guacamole. <laughs> we could have made a guacamole yeah. that was like baby Yoda. Or yeah, and then put the guacamole in the eggs. That would have been delicious. Could have just made chips and had a bowl that was like a, you know. That Could have like just bought a Baby Yoda bowl at like the Disney store and put guacamole in it and then video over. Yeah. <laughs> this is as good as it's gonna get. Cause you know what? I use like half a tube of this green sparkle gel. And I let me tell you, I don't see any sparkles. <laughs> Do you? No. Oh, maybe like a tiny bit, but okay, whatever. The celery is for his little ears. So you really only need a few pieces, but I bought a bunch. Let's take a few. Cut his little ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can see it. Those yeah. are his ears. Yeah. Way too many ears, but you know what? You can never have too many. I mean, unless you have too many. Unless you have too many. It's like, that's healthy food. I Go get it. I don't have time for that. Yeah, he doesn't have it. I thought I'd try to pawn it off on him, but he might like it. You don't know. Get it, honey. Good boy. You getting it? No? Okay. Pixel. Pixel heard some food hit the ground. Pixel, get it. Pixel, don't worry. It's just like healthy food that you're not going to want. Pixel, did you fart? <laughs> this does look like guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, it's perfect. Oh my god, it's so perfect. It's 
says that you want to put like a little tiny bit on the back to stick the top and the bottom together. I don't know if that's really gonna like work, but we'll put a little back there. We're gonna use these whole peppercorns as the eyeballs. Are you sure about that? That's gonna taste awful. Yeah, so when we actually try them, we'll take them off. This is just for like, to make it look cute. So let's get some of the eyeballs out. Okay. Two little perfect eyeballs. <laughs> You're way too amused by this. <laughs> I'm so excited. It looks so good. Okay, stick his little ears in there. Okay, let's put his little top half on. And you got yourself a baby Yoda doubled egg. If you hold it really still. It looks like baby Yoda. <laughs> How cute is that? We did it. I'm proud of myself. Okay, let's let's see how hard this is. If I can do it, anybody can do it, right? You're doing great so far. Does that look like a baby Yoda? Not quite. Not quite. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yours might be cuter than mine. Is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> you were way too excited about this. Oh. Yay! Let's see. Is it that from a baby Yoda? Side. Oh my gosh. That right there is a baby Yoda in his little pod. <laughs> <laughs> How fun. All right, let's taste them. Before we try these Baby Yoda deviled eggs, I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes B. Jordan, JJ Manilert, Heather Price, and Kimberly Moore, who we just met at Downtown Disney. Thank you to all our Patreons. Let's get to this. Question is, which one of these looks the most like the child? I don't know, I put the ears wrong on that one for some reason. <laughs> the oh. eyes different. I was just experimenting, you know, I wanted to see like... And why is that one going up? <laughs> I don't know. And why is this one like, one of his eyes is like a different color <laughs> than the other eye? <laughs> they all look cute though. They do. This was so fun, seriously. Imagine eating these right before the episode premiere of Mandalorian. Okay, I did the final one. Here he is. Oh wait, no, one more, I forgot. <laughs> I think this one looks the best. Oh yeah, that just looks just like him. Why does he have a tag from the Disney store? I don't store? know. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you can't tell me that this is not genius. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna take off the eyes before I eat it. You could use Why don't you eat it with eyes and I'll eat it without the eyes? I've already eaten the whole peppercorn once and it was not good and now there's two of them. Yeah, I'm gonna... Should I try a bite with the whole peppercorn? I feel like it's not gonna be good. Oh yeah. Okay. No. I need to pick those out of there. Woo! Don't ever eat a whole peppercorn. That was a mistake. I'll do it with the eyes just to Are see. You... <laughs> but I recommend, you know, I was thinking of maybe using black olives or... I don't like olives. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just trying to think of other things that you could use instead of peppercorn. So be creative. I'm sure you could find something to use instead of the peppercorn. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Wait, baby Yoda, what happened to your face? His eyes are closed. He's sleeping. Oh, he's sleeping. Shh. Okay, let's try it. Here you go. Are you just gonna shove the whole thing in your mouth? I guess, or I don't know, I'm gonna take a little bite. Mm -hmm. You can't really taste the peppercorns. But I would still recommend maybe don't eat them. <laughs> but yeah, it wasn't, ooh, yeah, okay, no, there's a spice at the end. Take off the eyes before you eat them or use a different kind of eyes. I personally don't like the crunch that the celery adds to it. So I'd do it without that. I'd just do it, I guess, I guess the plain deviled egg with a half of top, but I good. think I would add more spices next time. I would add that paprika. 
add the garlic salt and then it would be a little bit more tasty. It's, it is flavorful. I mean, it tastes like a deviled egg with a bunch of food coloring in it. This was fun. And I feel yeah. like this is like totally easy. We had originally planned to make some Baby Yoda cocktails in this video, but I think this ran a little bit long. So yeah. if you guys want this, tell us in the comments below, should we do a second part? You know, Mandalorian season two is gonna be running for some weeks now. Should we do a second part where we make the child cocktail? I think we should because I bought all the ingredients. So I have it all <laughs> ready to go. So let us know, subscribe if you haven't already, and we can make cocktails next time. If you wanna see when we drank a Baby Yoda cocktail yeah. at Trader Sam's when that was still open. Yeah. Right over there. Yeah, check it out. It was so, that's such a fun video. Yeah. Memories. And that was actually the birth of Kitcher's Quarantine Kitchen because you, when we were there, you were like, maybe we'll do a video where we're making it. It was, huh? Yeah. And we're finally doing it 10, 10 or 11 months later. <laughs> so. <laughs> hey, sometimes it takes us some time. Yeah. Home tour, it's coming eventually. Yes. Thanks for watching guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.